Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today we've got something special lined up. Steph isn't with us today. He isn't dead. He isn't on the other side of the veil. <laughs> we've got someone else. He's not replacing Steph. This is just a friend. His name's Richard. Hey guys, my name is Richard Barnard. Uh, I'm an import. I'm from Johannesburg, in Maritzburg, and I am a musician. When we introduced the project that Steph and I were doing, we, we promised that we would kind of pick the brains of other artists and uh, it's, it's also part of our manifesto, like Club of Sons. Uh, we haven't actually told you guys what the whole meaning behind that was, but it's really about just accepting everybody for who they are under the sun and like it's all about collaboration and discovering what music is and the process of music making, especially with like guys like us who haven't like broken the scene yet. The everyday musician kind of talking about music at this point in our lives and then hopefully we can track the journey with you as well, a little bit. There are different types of musicians. We always talk about the process of writing, the way we do things, so we would like to hear from another musician how you do things. You're quite a good technician, and you like are really strong at, at playing other people's music, so we're going to chat a bit about that, right? Cool, yeah. Yeah, I do enjoy my own depiction of covers, which is why I spend a lot of time on it, so yeah. If you see things like jumping past the lenses, there's a very active cat in yeah, the room. There's a very active cat running around everywhere. Sylvia, this is Sylvia. If you guys can see Sylvia. There's Sylvia here. Yeah. <laughs> very curious cat. You know what they say about curious cats? <laughs> there's something quite interesting about him. Um, I admire the fact that he's taking music quite seriously. He actually got sick and tired of his job. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. Got sick and tired of like you know the grind and decided to follow his passion. So I, I really admire someone who follows their heart and does what they believe is right for them to do. So do you want to tell me the process around that? I was with my manager, Sean, and you know he spoke about him being in the same situation as I was, about having a job, but it's not where your heart lies, it's not where you see yourself in the future. That's, that's where I started asking these questions. Do I see myself doing this for the rest of my life? Music is, by most people, frowned upon, but for me, I spent a lot of time on it. I thought to myself, I can do it. I can give it a, give it a try and, you know, I'm excited for the future. And so many people come up to me and say, you have talent, you can make a life out of this. And that's where I actually start following their advice and making, making myself believe that it can work. You'll hear Richard sing a little later. I mean, he's got some pipes on him. How did you find and meet and get a manager? How do you go about lining up gigs and stuff like that? I guess it all started off with, um, with a friend very into the music scene in Johannesburg. And he introduced me to a lot of people in the music scene. And that's where, you know, I started started my first gigs, started getting, hey, you're doing well, you know, how about you come play here, you know, we'll give you a slot. So that's where I started off with making my own recordings and, you know, asking people, you know, are you looking for a musician, you know, send them my stuff, send them a video clip, anything like that, SoundCloud link. I suppose that's where it all started. That's where I got introduced to different people who manage different venues. With every show, you gain more confidence. And that's what really happened for me. I still remember the first day walking onto stage and I was like, how am I gonna do this? I still feel like that. When I get on a stage, I have to get through one song and then I kind of relax. Do yeah. You, do you feel like that? Your first song is your warm up to see what the crowd's like. Yeah. See what type of response you're gonna get. The first song you pick is, for me, is something that you think most people will know something you'll hear on the radio or something people hear and they're like, oh, I know that song. When you get the reaction from that, that's when you realize, okay, this is, these are the songs I have to play. Do you want to tell me a little bit about what you do with your day as a full-time stay-at-home musician? When you have a full-time job, you, you don't get time to like tell your friends, you know, do you want to, you want to come over, let's maybe have a jam, see if we can do some harmonies, make, get a duet going. For Joburg mostly, it's all about 
your repertoire. What you play when you go to places like Social and Main Four is Farmer's Market. This is one of the nicest places to play at. What songs are popular? Put them down on a list. Put Shazam on your phone when you're driving, when you're driving in your car. So if you hear a song, you just tap it, get the song. You don't, you don't want to go there singing like Ben Harper, <laughs> Lonely Day or something like that. You want to give them upbeat stuff that'll make them like, like your stuff. That's where like you and I differ. When I picked up a guitar, the first thing I played was something I wanted to play. Yeah. Like something out of my head. And then I learned chords, you know, I learned someone else's songs and then I was like, nah, I'm gonna start playing my own stuff. So yeah. from a very young age, I was a bit rebellious when it came to music. It's cool to hear your side of, of you know, the musical process. Everybody's different and everybody's got their own strengths. And that's your strength. Like I really, really dig the stuff you do. So. Yeah. And it's cool that you, you kind of like approach a venue with, let's call them your target market in mind. And like that's something I don't do, I just like, I want to play this. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit like arrogant or naive or whatever, but... Do you have a little bit of a, a system going when it comes to writing your own stuff? You are trying to write your own music, yeah. so how do you go about doing that? When I write a song, I have my biggest influences. So you, you won't necessarily say when you hear my song, you'll hear a bit of John Mayer or Eric Clapton or whatever. That's what my chord structure is based around when I play most of my music and that's probably where it will come from. I always try and be original with, with my own songs and write from the heart, like write from my own experiences. I'm spending more time on music so I'm really excited to start writing my own stuff and get people to hear it. I'm excited to hear what you've been working on. If you guys are watching, I'm sure you're bursting at the seams to hear this guy sing. In the future, we might have Richard back. Like once you've written something, it would be cool to actually hear what you've done with it, and maybe we can also do a little bit of a collaboration. You can oh, join that'd us. Be, that'd be great. I'd really love that. Yeah. 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 So hope you guys enjoyed listening to Richard's approach to making music. Be sure to check out his stuff. We'll put links in the video for you so that you can um, follow his music. YouTube, Facebook. He's doing a lot of live music, so you should also go check him out if you're in the areas that he's playing. It would be, I think, a real treat and honor for you guys and for him. <laughs> Give him a thumbs up, a share. Thank you very much for, for watching and um, sharing this experience and joining the Cos Club, Club of Sons. An honorary member of the Club of Sons. Yeah, thanks, bro. Um, and don't go away because he's about to show us what he does best. <laughs>
got it, I just gotta know I can't have it, I can't have it any other way I swear she is destined for the screen The closest thing to Michelle Pfeiffer that you've ever seen Oh, leave it, running down to the riptide Take on away to the dark side I wanna be your left hand man I love you when you're singing that song And I got a lump in my throat Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong Later, running down to the riverside Take our way to the dark side I wanna be your left and man I love you when you're singing that song And I got a lump in my throat Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong And I got a lump in my throat Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong